Live, I'm Chuck Henry. And I'm Colleen Williams. That second fire tonight, destroying part of L.A. history. NBC4's Robert Kavasic live in El Sereno right now with more for us. Robert. Colleen and Chuck, let's talk about all the factors involved here tonight. This was a massive fire burning close to homes, close to Cal State L.A. It burned into adjacent brush, so you had a brush fire as well, and then they had to shut down the adjacent train tracks. And take a look at what's going on behind me. Since it started six hours ago, it has taken 150 firefighters from the Los Angeles Fire Department to try and get it under control, along with some high-tech help. Late tonight, it continues to burn, a blaze erupting during rush hour and spotted for miles. Thick, dark, heavy smoke. All that smoke coming from a 31,000 square foot warehouse. We had uh, flames going, you know, close to 100 feet into the air. L.A. Assistant Chief Wade White guiding us through the firefight live tonight during the NBC4 News at 7. The company leasing the warehouse, offering full-service event design and furniture. They had the capacity to build movie props. Gary J. Herman Sr. owns the building and says he spoke to those inside. There was an explosion. They had just locked the building up, getting ready to leave, and he heard an explosion. Lost tonight, a piece of the past. This was the former roller derby home of the all-women derby dolls. History wiped from this spot where the future has now arrived. RS-3, the nation's first firefighting vehicle of its kind, less than a year in service. We we're able to send them in, start an interior attack without uh, injuring any firefighters. You are watching robotic reinforcement deployed when conditions get too risky. Now, how about this? There was a remote vehicle that was sent into that famous fire in Paris at Notre Dame Cathedral. Fire Chief Ralph Terrassa saw it, and the Los Angeles Fire Department Foundation, with a donation, helped to bring that $300,000 RS3 into the LAFD arsenal. Colleen, you know firefighting is a very dangerous business, and it proved that way tonight. Two Los Angeles firefighters were injured. Their injuries considered to be minor. They're going to be okay. But this is a firefight that is going to continue well into tomorrow morning. We're live in El Sereno. I'm Robert Kavasic. Colleen, that's the latest from here.